Hi folks, how are we doing? Welcome to another weekly update. So it's been sort of a bit of a weird week. Um, I spent a good couple of days on Cameron's car. Um, yeah, as I said on sort of last week, it, it failed its MOT on the emissions. Uh, I thought it was just the cap because obviously we had to rip that out when we first got it. Well, it was ripped out when we first got it and I had to sort of lash it up for him. Um, but we just couldn't get him down, so I ended up fucking about with that for a couple of days. And also had a brake issue, which was a pain in the ass to track down. So I spent a couple of days on that. Um, and then uh, the farmer sort of said, um, the old unit, which was been stored a load of shit in, he said we, he would like us out of there by uh, the end of the month. So we're sorting that out as well. So it's been sort of one of them weeks where I've just been running around fucking doing all sorts of shit. But, oh, which you know, I do apologise. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, this year, um, I've never ever suffered before, but this year I'm just suffering quite badly with hay fever. My nose is constantly streaming, my eyes are itching, pissing me off to be fair. And then with the heat as well, I've been a very aggy danny. So, anyway, um, yeah, what I was saying. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to sort out the the uh, the old unit, the, the tiny little one where it, I just dumped shit. So trying to sort that out. I, I didn't want to just bring it all around here and just fucking fill up spaces because then I won't be able to work. So it's been trying to sort stuff out as I go. So we have actually made quite a bit of progress this week. So I did uh, finish the trolley on the mini. Mini's on the trolley. Moves around lovely. But that's about as far as I got. Other than taking the uh, handbrake cable off just because the trolley got in the way and then that fuel line I just bent out of the way it's got another fuel line for it to, to run through oh and the, uh, the main battery cable that's, that's uh, yeah I haven't touched any of this um, most of my time has been spent sorting all this out because a lot of stuff was just dumped obviously no there was a load of scrap here so I've cleaned all this uh, sorted my scrap pile out which is now under there so that's well out of the way uh, Fucking finding wood to fucking sort this out so I can get everything on the racks. All my panels are now there, so they're all easily accessible. Um, yeah, just sorting shit. So I, I did, I don't think I've ever bought it, but I had like a load of metal just here. I just sort out. Um, yeah, so I'm just making space. Um, yeah, we sort of finished last night and just left shit, so it's a bit of a shit up. Um, like this was out for cutting shelves, so yeah, these, these are all the panels for the cars. Well, these are all the panels I've got in, so it's all readily accessible. And like just sorting out shit. Uh, I had to dig out the old Vespa, put that somewhere. Still don't know what's going on with that. I'm just storing it for Louis at the minute. Oh, Louis's mum, she can't make up her mind what she wants to do. Um, put the bumpers for the Escort up there. But. <clears throat> Made a decent crack at trying to get this sorted out yesterday. Um, oh, it's Cameron's old cat here, it's got a fucking scrap on. Um, yeah, so we cleared it all out. Some of it's still on the floor at the minute because it wasn't for the car. So, I mean, that's for the car, that's for the car. This is all the old panels and stuff. It's the bulkhead that I've got going. Um, yeah, so I mean, today's plan is I've got to get all the suspension off of this. Hence why we've got the space over there now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, so all the suspension is going to come off and go there. And he's, he's going to pick it up and have it all redone. But I want it out of the way for the minute. I can't have it just in the middle of the floor. So yeah, I'm going to get all that done. And hopefully we'll get it on the spits today. But I don't know. We'll see how that goes. It shouldn't take too long to get the suspension off. These are really, really basic. The front's been off about 100 times already. Um, I mean, it's not actually really bolted in properly. It's just there just for moving purposes um so yeah that's that um but i mean this is to the extent i went of sorting shit out so like i've got a box of old sort of trimmed uh thin steel for sort of plates and patches and stuff then i've got all my uh, bits of box and angle and flat bar just in there all sorted out you know so if i need to make a quick jig everything's accessible Oh, some tubes and shit down there. No room for another box. Joy of having this folder is like there's plenty of room underneath to get shit there. I've dug out some old shit as well. That's for a panel that I made. Quite proud of that one. That's two mil thick metal. I'd like to show you that's for a seat metal in Sierra. And then just a, a scrap bin. 
so yeah, it's just trying to organise things as I've been sorting stuff out. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been one of them sort of weeks. So yeah, I'm going to um, clear this up, sweep up, carry on, fin finish off where I left off last night. Hold on. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, finish off where I left off last night, just continue tidying up, getting things on the racks. And then we'll uh, tackle the suspension on the Escort. Actually, I might have some breakfast first. I'm hungry. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, just sort shit out. <clears throat> and then tackle the Escort. Might actually give him a quick call, see if he can pick him up today. That might give me incentive to, to work faster. Although, it's supposed to be another fucking scorcher of a day. It's been... It's been fucking blisteringly hot this week. And then, Sunday is supposed to be... Well, it's full on weather warnings, but stay in your house, do not fucking go out unless you're wearing not fucking tinfoil hats and shit fucking reflecting the sun back. Which is annoying because I've got Ellie and she burns. And I don't want that for my little girl. I mean, I don't want to keep her trapped in the house either. You know, like the back of my flat is like a fucking massive playground. You know, it's not nice for her to come over and see me. And I mean, she wants to see me, but she's fucking, what, eight years old? She doesn't want to see me, she wants to go and play with her friends. Which is fine, I get it, I understand that. <coughs> so, hopefully I can let her sort of go out, otherwise we're just going to sit there and watch her films. Well, I have got the uh, the new Beavis and Butter film. Watch it, it's fucking hilarious. It's classic stupidity, it's childish, it's wild my street. And yeah, digressing, rambling on, as I do, always do. So I'm going to crack on and get some shit done. Forgot to mention, uh, we had to drag Michelle's car back round. Um, it was around the other side of the farm, um, but he's having his solar panels clean today, so we had to sort of drag this. And it was starting and driving. Uh, the turbo's fucked, but yesterday decided to fully shit itself and almost pump oil straight out as it was running. And I have just noticed where Michelle parked it, she's left the fucking window open. But it's her car, who gives a shit? Look at the Tiffany. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you being all majestic? You're normally a shit. You can say hello to the people. Say. Hello. What are you doing? Get away from me. No! No! Look at that. What a difference a fucking tidy up makes. So, everything's away, nice and neat. Even swept out underneath the bench. The only thing I haven't done is this bench because uh, some of this shit needs to go in his drawers and I need to rejig the drawers about so it's like just need more space like in here. It's just got fucking fallen out. So I want to rejig that so that can just be ignored for a minute. So yeah, everything's clean, tidy, swept. Even in here. Uh, just had some lunch. Uh, so now I want to crack on with this. Uh, before I do anything, I want to give it a quick fucking blow over. Um, there's a load of shit in it, so I've just got the over out. I'm just going to quickly sort of give it a good old vac, get all the dust and shit out of it, and then we'll uh, get it fully stripped. Um, yeah, there's not much left on it, not really anyway. There's like the, the uh, brake servo, steering column, steering rack. Most of it should be relatively straightforward. Like I said, the front end's already been off, suspension-wise. Steering racks only a couple of bolts, brake pipes, not too much of an issue. Uh, back I haven't had off before, but again, relatively straightforward. You know, it's just shock tower bolts. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that this should come apart relatively quickly once I've uh, once I start it really. All right. So basically, I lied to you because there was a lot on it uh, and there's lots of little stupid things like getting the servo and the, the the arm off you know clips and shit all over the place um so yeah we've got the ecus out from the back cleaned all that up fucking rip that piece of fiberglass off just get it out of the way you keep pissing me off the hinges are now off Got the brake pipes out of the way, so we've just got the fuel pipes now. It's got the brake pipes still there, but they're front to back. I'll do that when it's uh, rolled over. They're not in the way at the minute. 
fuel filter is now gone, uh, dry shots are now gone. This wasn't too bad, uh, Stephen Coleman had this out. Um, that wasn't really in there, that well, that was just placed back in there, but the steering column and pedal box is back out. So that's not too bad, it's all cleared up. Um, but yeah, the back end is a, was a fucking pain in the ass. So, it's independent rear suspension. So you have the, this trailing arm deal and then push in there. And then that little bit links up to the brake uh, bias valve. So the bush had seized on there. The bolt seized there and there, so they took some time. But the biggest issue was the fucking handbrake cable. So, oh, where is it? Oh, I completely forgot. It's been a minute since I've fucking done one of these. These handbrake cables have this little fucking springy doojimmy to get them out. And... Yeah, it's an absolute fucking wanker. Would not come out. We had issues with the flexi. You know, that wouldn't come out. Flexi I'm not too worried about. It's easily replaced. Handbrake cable. Um, that actually looks quite new. But I don't, I don't want to go destroying things if I can help it. Because I'm not putting this back together. You know, I'm, I'm just doing the welding underneath. So I want to try and get it off as cleanly as possible. Um... When I hoovered it out, I found some more rot in the spare wheel well. So I had a conversation with the owner about that as well. So yeah, it wasn't as straightforward as I'd anticipated and planned. It's still not on the fucking spit, but at least we've got the suspension half off. Done that side, just got that side to do. The front end has just fallen off. It's not even, it's just loosely put on really. So the uh, top mounts are actually really bolted up, I think. But even the track lines are just loose. Yeah. So. so yeah, that's it for uh, this video um, and today. I'm going to go pick up Ellie. So no, if if I was doing a normal day, stand to sort of like nine o'clock, then I would have had this done. You know, there's there's not not a lot of work now. I've, it's always hard doing one side because you've got to work out what sockets you're using, everything else, spanners, and running backwards and forwards, running backwards and forwards. Now I've already got it out, the other side, I shouldn't have to get up and then just lay there and just get it done. But unfortunately, you know, children come first. It's as simple as that. So, um, yeah, we're done. Uh, please check out my friends in the description box below. Uh, please have a look at my Teespring store. Please have a look at uh, Patreon. Uh, there's a couple of videos up on Patreon. Not not too many at the minute. I'd like to get some more up there. But there's a couple of pay, uh, videos up there that are not on YouTube. Um, and it really will will help support what I'm doing. Um, I've, I've said it a few times now. Um, you know, doing these videos, it, it takes time. It takes effort, you know, editing and stuff like that. So, you know, if you can help out, it would be appreciated. Um, that being said, I'm out. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.